equestrian friends, it's me Lisa the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to show you guys how you can make your own hang up fly repellents using essential oils and beeswax pellets. It's an all natural option that you can use in your barn and that way you don't have to use as many insecticides to help keep the fly population down. I'm going to utilize these beeswax pellets that I already had and some little hangers that I'm going to put the beeswax back into once they're all ready to go. So you're going to need a bunch of essential oils. You'll need some lemongrass, you'll need some clove, cinnamon, Peppermint oil, this is by far my favorite. Citronella. Rosemary. And cedarwood. And also some linseed oil. And geranol. If you don't have these essential oils, you can find them online or sometimes even at Walmart. So I took a ceramic bowl and then just put in all of the different essential oils. And I don't really have a formula or how much I used of each of the oils. I pretty much just put them all in there. I think I used most of the peppermint and the clove and it made it really aromatic and you can really smell the clove and the peppermint in the concoction that I made. So I took all of the oils and dumped a bunch into the bowl. The rosemary is really strong too. And all of these essential oils blended together really make a nice aromatic fragrance um, in the barn. I like just smelling it when I walk in. It kind of reminds me that spring is here. So then I mixed all of the oils together. And like I said in the beginning, I have these beeswax pellets that they're not used up. So I combined all of the beeswax into one package. I just kind of mushed them up a little bit. And then I just took my essential oil concoction and dumped it into the bag. And then closing the bag, I blended all of the essential oil mixture into the beeswax. And this took a little bit of work but I just kind of mushed everything together. And put it into another bag. And then let it set for a few hours. And when I came back, I just wanted to check the consistency and see how sticky the pellets and the essential oils are. And this is perfect. So now all I have to do is fill up the little hangers, diffusers almost, I guess. So the first thing I did was put on gloves because I don't want to get the essential oils all over my skin. And again, I just kind of pushed into the beeswax, making sure it's all nice and smooshed together with the essential oils. And then using a spoon, I kind of formed the beeswax pellets onto the spoon and then dropped them into each of the hangers. 
Now these hangers are really nice and I actually got them from Bug Palant. And like I said, I have not gotten new ones for this year, but I had all of the essential oils, so I thought I would make my own concoction to hang up in the horse's stalls. And I just put the beeswax pellets in just about to the top of each of the hangers. And I'm really happy with the consistency of the essential oils and the beeswax pellets because they do get kind of sticky and they're sticky together. And I think the linseed oil helps to act as a binder. And I just had to put on the lids. And my hangers are just about ready to be used. And since I did have a little bit of the essential oils left over on my gloves, I just wiped off the hanger itself to get a little bit of the dirt and dust off and also to get every little bit of the essential oils blend onto the stall hangups. that is what they look like. They are all done. Now all I have to do is remove my gloves and clean up my mess. And I thought it might be helpful for you to see where I hang these in my horse's stalls. So I have the new hangups all ready to go in a plastic baggie. Now all I have to do is take down the old ones. That's the old ones that were hanging up. And these are the new ones. See? And just to give you a comparison of what they look like new and old, big difference. And then I just hung up the new hangers in between the horse's stalls and packaged the old ones so I can repurpose those at a later time. And that's it. They're done. They're awesome. I'm so happy. Yay. I really like having different options to help keep the fly population down at my barn. Hopefully this will be helpful for you too. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch all my other horse related and DIY projects so you can be a budget equestrian too. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.